Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back again. Um, today is going to be a packing video for our Walt Disney World trip that's coming up this weekend. We have Resort TV on <laughs> to get excited. Um, and I think today's gonna probably focus mostly on our two small children, Jamesy and Teddy. They are two years old and almost six months old. Teddy will actually, Teddy will be just about six months um, while we're in Disney. It's actually gonna be my half birthday <laughs> while we're in Disney. If you know me, you know I love half birthdays. Um, so yeah, we're, I've been like, thinking of outfits, starting organizing in my head, but today we're actually gonna start putting things in luggage. I locked myself out of my old computer, so we took a walk to Jewel to grab a few items and to grab a coffee. He's got himself some breakfast Doritos. Ready to go. So one of the things I love to do is to get James these bags of chips for him to munch on on the way home. And I just think it's sweet, and I think he enjoys it, and I will remember this forever and I, you know, maybe when he's older he'll remember going to the store with his dad and grabbing a little bag of chips for the walk home. Good morning, Teddy. Hey, sweetheart. Both of the boys have universal clothes on today. <laughs> Teddy has a Harry Potter outfit on and James is with the Grinch. Oh, oh, tell me what is wrong. So like, you might see a little baby hand pop in and out. But I am a list person. Hey, 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 hey. I'm a list person, so I needed to visualize like what outfits were being worn with it. So this is how I started. And then I'm just starting to lay out things, make sure everything is clean and whatnot. This will not fly with a toddler running around on my couch. So I'm gonna transport it. This this luggage has seen better days, but it's our, our tried and true. Um, so I'm gonna transfer it into our luggage. So then wherever I am packing, I can just zip it up and put it away if, if need be. We have a small apartment. Our bedroom is mostly for tidy napping during the day and Peter works in the boys' room. Um, so if I want to get stuff done while the boys are playing, it's got to be out here, but it's got to be strategic <laughs> so that the time that I spend packing isn't all for naught if, say, a pile is knocked down, which happens. Um, so that's why I'm going to pack in the luggage and then wherever, like, I imagine, like, maybe after the boys go to bed, I might do some packing in the dining room. I don't know. We're just going to make, we just make it work. Um, and so that's how, that's, that's why the luggage will help us. Are you ready for your first nap? Oh, yeah. Just look at, look at that elbow dimple. Come on. I walk into Whole Foods and I'm immediately swindled. Wait a minute, these are orange. These are just chocolate. I'm gonna get the orange. So if I didn't say it, the reason I'm coming to Whole Foods is to get liquid IV to kind of just get our immune systems um, prepared for travel and whatnot. So I'm going to get that for my family and Christina's family. Um, I just don't know where it is. So I'm gonna get that and then also some snacks. There's plenty of snacking to be done at Disney, but these like quick snacks that we can just have um, in the stroller at a moment's notice, it's just nice to kind of prepare that also for the plane. This way is just a little more economical, right? Right? Shockingly, my phone died while we were there. So I will show you what veggie straws for easy snacking for Jamesy, his favorite, dried cranberries, and pretzel sticks, and then I got a handful of different quick little squeezy pouches. He loves these pouches and it gets some good nutrients in between, between all the french fries and snacking. 
Oh, yeah. Don't they look good? At least for now. Yeah. Hi, Teddy. Did you think I was here? <laughs> He's so funny, that dad. He's so funny. And then as far as the immune support stuff that I got, I decided to go with like a gummy for James. This is the Ali brand kids immunity. It has zinc and elderberry. Um, a lot of the things at the store said for kids four and up, but this was two. So I'm gonna mix that with like a vitamin C supplement for him. And then our liquid IV is actually gonna come um, from Amazon tonight so it'll be it'll be here today so that is what we're doing to to protect our our bodies before the trip and during it too a little packing talk break because both kids are asleep i'm a bit behind the vlog i'm gonna be editing as a three-parter so let's get that done What's going on, Teddy? Oh. Teddy, what are you doing over there? What are you doing, baby? Oh yeah, you got so much to say. <laughs> Hi, <Goofy. laughs> Hide! <laughs> Where's Jamesy? <laughs> there he is. Now Jamesy's awake and Teddy's asleep again. <laughs> I have to go on a run. How many miles? Are you the Joker? <laughs> Decided we're gonna talk a lot about not spending time on the legs or how running's going, but we're gonna talk over the next two and a half months about how this is a dilby. This run right here on this chilly, breezy, almost nighttime six mile run I'm going on. This is the dopey challenge. Not 46 miles, not four days of no sleep getting up early. That's the fun part. This, though. Running six miles today, knowing I have to work out for an hour tomorrow, running six miles on Thursday and 20 miles on Saturday. This is dopey. Are you kidding me? Look at that city. It's like the most beautiful time ever to look at it. A bit choppy and windy out here. Look at that. Got a moon rising happening right there. Wow. I guess there's a full moon. Very cool. See the Drake right there. I have to my wife right there. My friends up there. We have fun out there. We have fun all over the world. All over the world. Jingle Bell. The Grinch. Oh. Okay. Where are, you, where are you going with Daddy's wallet? Hi. Did you roll over onto your belly? Oh, he's a big kid. Oh gosh. How is your snooze? So Daddy's on his run now. So. I don't know how much packing is gonna get done in the short term. We're just gonna try our best, but don't worry. Then it's coming. How could you get on book? Did your friend send you that? Oh. Yeah. Did your friend send you that? Oh, that's my necklace. This Are you gonna start collecting press pennies in Disney? This 
Epcot. Epcot. Have you ever seen two bigger kids? This is the first ride with our Bugaboo donkey with both kids in their seats. They are big kids. We're walking over to go vote. Um, hour until poll closes, but I think ours is a very early active um, polling place, and so the line shouldn't be long. So we're going to take turns. Sarah will go in, and then we'll switch, and it'll be great. Sarah, look how big these kids look. And then as Teddy gets older, we'll, we'll be able to switch his seat front facing. But we like to keep an eye on him. I know. We're all voted. No voting stickers. And Peter's shopping. I got accosted at the Walgreens by somebody. Like, Did you vote? I was like, yeah. Let me tell you about a cannon. I was like, I heard you voted. Voted. Teddy is down and the vlog is up. Um, Peter's still putting James down, but I'm gonna get more work done on this packing for the boys. I actually had to pull out Teddy's six month clothes, so I had to do a little bit of organizing there. I'll show you where, how far I've gotten. Um, basically, I've put more into the luggage. I was able to kind of do that throughout the night um, in between playing with the boys and just keeping everything situated. But I want to share how I organize our luggage. So here is where we are at for tonight. Over here we have what we'll have on the airplane. This is what the boys are wearing to travel, little matchy outfits. We arrive super early to Orlando. Like our flight lands at 9 a.m. So I have their outfits that we want them to change into because we'll probably go to the parks before our resort room is ready. The logistics of all of our bags is still to be determined. We'll probably bring three luggage that will be checked. One for the boys, one for me, one for Peter. Um, that's the plan right now. And then carry-on wise, we usually do an electronics bag, a diaper bag, a snack toy bag and then kind of like a catch-all depending on you know how packing goes but for now I for sure know that we're gonna want to pack our outfits in in a separate bag like for the day that we land so we can get out of our airplane clothes and change before we start our day so that's why those like those clothes are out of the luggage we just got these little cubes from Petunia Pickle Bottom that match our Snow White backpack. So we'll definitely be using these to organize some packing snacks or whatever toiletries. So we also got these snack bags. We have bought snacks that we'll use throughout the trip that we'll just have like in one of the, chuck the checked luggages. But each day we'll put the snacks in these, but we'll have these packed for the flight. Like I said, the diaper bag for the boys will probably just be simple. Extra outfits, wipes, diapers. There's also a changing mat in there. And then this little joggy holds our like creams and hand sanitizer and stuff. Um, so that'll be, that's, that's simple. Okay, but look how cute this doggy is sleeping. Her face is like in the crease of the couch cushions. So I said it earlier in the vlog, but it is kind of key to our, us packing, so I'm gonna bring it up again. I have planned out what the boys are wearing each day of the trip. And I know that that might not be ideal for some people or not be up people's alley whatsoever, but it helps me pack. And then it also helps us unpack because we are people who like to unpack when we get to our resort room. Again, not everybody does this. So, Basically, I have my little list, it just fell down, but here it is of what I want them to wear. Um, and then I pack it in that order. So like the first day is on top and then it goes down. So then it's easy access. Um, and so that's how I pack and then that's how it exists in the drawers. And then less thinking has to happen while on vacation. So here's, here's how the luggage looks. I'm doing Teddy up here, Jamesy down here. There are a few things that are in their room or in the wash that need to be added still, but I'm actually very happy with how much I got done tonight. Um, so these are the outfits that I have planned. And then this stack is the extra clothes. So like 
I always have an extra outfit for James in our backpack, two for Teddy, just because of their ages. Um, so I do have extra outfits. And actually throughout the trip, if I feel like, you know, things might get rearranged. But like this, this pre-planning really does just help my brain be nice and peaceful. Um, and things happen, obviously. But this is how it gets laid out. And then their jammies. Teddy has sleep sacks that he's still wearing. So those are with his jammies. And then shoes, bathing suits, other accessories. So like I said, things might change while we're there. Um, but as far as like our layout goes, it's like accessories and smaller stuff fitting in on that side, jammies and clothes. Also, it is supposed to be like chilly for Florida standards when we first get there because of um, the tropical storm that's actually happening like just before we get there. They will each have a few long sleeve options. Um, so I have, have those at the ready. And then here will just be like ex other accessories as well that you need to keep in place. So, like I still need to get Teddy socks in there. These are changing mats that we like to keep um, easy peasy for keeping surfaces clean and basically anything else. I, maybe their snacks might fit in here. We kind of have to see how the rest of our luggage plays out. My advice for Florida in the winter um, is to wear layers instead of being like, I need to pack warmer clothes or I need to pack like I don't know, outfits that suit the chillier temperatures, there will be a wide range of weather while we're there. And when the sun is out in Florida, it is hot, but when the sun goes down, it is gonna it is gonna get nice and nice and cool. So in this instance, because it is November and we can still bank on some like solid 80 degree days, um, and it's not January, February where it is very, very chilly, um, we're gonna go with layers, so that's one tip for going to Disney this time of year. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's really it for the boys. The other important thing will be snacks and some toys. So like, we'll have an iPad on the plane um, for James to watch movies and probably just like a couple of other little toys probably some sticker books or something along those lines. So that those little things will come with us on the plane. And then we do like to have some in the room as well. So like I said, that'll probably go in one of the carry-ons that has like snacks and toys. Honestly, I don't really even, mo most of the stuff is packed. There's a couple of things in their room and a couple of things in the wash, like I said, that have to be added, but they are basically done. Something else that we always pack for the boys um, are Mickey and Minnie plushes just to have in the room, cute on the bed. There's kind of like little travel companions, so these are definitely coming with too. All right, so the boys are mostly packed. I feel really good about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed like a very casual pack with me. Um, I am not like I, I'm not a professional <laughs> by any means. That's really not even how like you guys know we're kind of more off the cuff vlog. Um, so that was not like a setup, you know, thought out <laughs> packing video. I hope that it's just the packing video for your average Joe going to Disney World because that's what we are. You know, we are like we go to Disney a lot. It's kind of our home. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I hope that it's kind of just like a non-intimidating way to show you how I pack and I don't know, get you excited if you're going on a trip soon or just a little insight into our lives, but I will show you what time it is. And I have a feeling that's how the next few nights are going to be. Um, feel good about the boys stuff. Peter and I just went over our to-do list of what we're going to get done the next few days. I hope to have all of our laundry done tomorrow so that I can finish packing the boys and pack us tomorrow so that those that's out of the way and then we can really just prepare. We actually have, we have a concert, a 
benefit concert on Friday night. Um, it is Andrew McMahon's Dear Jack Foundation benefit, um, which is a big deal. It's downtown at the House of Blues. So we basically like don't have Friday to prepare. And then our flight is so early on Sunday morning that we're actually staying at a hotel near Midway Airport um, on Saturday. So our days are kind of like, it's not like we have the whole week. <laughs> Um, but that's exciting because that means that all the fun starts even sooner. I hope you liked the little packing segment, kind of behind the scenes of getting that ready. Um, and yeah, there'll be, there'll be more coming. I did post on Instagram asking suggestions for any other things you guys want to learn. So if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of what you want to see this week, be sure to comment them below, um, whether that is about preparing for vacation or about our actual vacation itself, um, anything, go ahead and leave it in the comments. It is good to be home. Wow. We are headed to Jewel this morning. It is a lovely day. It's definitely in the 60s. Um, and it's Wednesday. We leave for Florida this weekend and I am curious to see how many times we end up running to Jewel in the next three days. So here's one. So this trip to Jewel, I don't even want to say today is because I could even see us coming back here tonight as we prepare for the upcoming days. Right now I'm getting stuff to basically make us through the rest of the week as far as like lunch and snack goes. This way we don't have to go full blown grocery shopping, just a few things to get us through and also candles because Christmas. Do you see that Santa? We've been wondering this brand, this map we had randomly fell and now we need a new one. Do it again! I just missed Peter doing something really cool. One, two, three! <laughs> wow. That first one almost clunked my head. I <laughs> heard they clunked his head on the ceiling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Next time did not happen. After my last clip, things kind of took a took a tumble, but Peter's done with work. Teddy is a snoozing. And now what are we gonna do, guys? Snuggle. Alrighty, we got dinner. And we also have a hiccup in our weekend plans. Our babysitter has had a COVID exposure. So our plan for our Friday Andrew McMahon benefit concert is a little bit, if you almost got our food. It's, it's on hold right It's now. on hold and so we're just kind of thinking about it and eating dinner in the living room. It's manja. Okay, we're doing a test run of our double city mini, what is it called? City, city mini, mini GT, GT uh, jogger stroller. The boys fit nicely. It's crazy that Teddy's that big, but we're just gonna do a test ride, see if we like it more or less than the Bugaboo. There's major pros and cons. Yes. Like. What are our priorities? Number one is easily getting on the bus. Yeah, I don't, it's hard, because it's like, if that's number one, it's the city mini GT. Yeah, down. right. But like, because it's just like, comfort collapses up. For the kids, Throughout the park day, I think bugaboo. So yeah. It's like, do I do we just, you know, stick it out for the little bit of hecticness of the bus ride, right? And also the airport because that's like to completely break down into a storage thing for it to be put in the, underneath the plane, right? Or and then we also don't have snack trays. We don't have belly bars for this one. We don't have a, a holder for our stuff here. Right. How does it feel? Feels great. You can try it. Like it is designed to be like very smooth. It's made, it's a jogger. Yeah, like I could take it good. running. It feels good. It feels real good. Yeah, I would say it's a little bit more narrow than the Bugaboo as far as like doorways. Yeah. But the Bugaboo is really nice, like maneuvering. Like it's yeah. big, it's beast, but 
it, it handles the turns and maneuvering well. And we do have all the accessories. Like we don't even have, we have a rain cover that we'd have to find, but it's like a generic rain cover, not made oh, by yeah. this company. So it'd be like not the best rain cover, but we've got really nice individualized rain covers for the Bugaboo. It's just like, I've come to terms with like, we just need to give ourselves appropriate time at the airport to break it down before we get on the plane both ways. It's breaking and like slightly breaking it down before getting on a bus. It smells like steak. It does. Um, but I'm going to yeah. try that when we so get it's back. Funny. I said that was our priority. Number one was easy, the easiness. But if all of the other pros lean towards the bugaboo, then that's no longer our number one priority. Right. Because I'm thinking like, I think the bugaboo is better for the kids than this. Because yeah. also like, it kind of freaks me out not having a James or Teddy turn towards us. Yeah. Like, imagine maneuvering a big crowd on Main Street or something, yeah. have them turned in. So we're going to play with the Bugaboo double when we get back to see, because before it was the, a bassinet and a seat. Now it's going to be two seats. It might change. And we've change. seen some videos of, like, people doing it a little bit more easily. Yeah, slightly different than the way I was doing it yeah. when we were there last. Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna do a, a, a test run of that as well before we make the call. So we're home, and we have decided on bringing the City Mini. We really enjoyed it on that walk. Um, I don't know, we just think it'll best serve this particular trip. Um, obviously the biggest perk is easy to just pull it up and bring it onto transportation. Um, the kit, we really liked how the kids were seated in it. Um, and so we just need to buy like an organizer on the back and yes, thank you. Um, and so yeah, we've made our decision. We will just need to get the rain cover. So that's that's the only thing, and the organizer. Um, so we're kind of tag teaming our to-do list. Jamesy fell asleep on the walk, so he's already in bed for the night. For some reason, Teddy does not want to sleep, but he's in really good spirits. Um, I have Cinderella on and I am going to start packing our clothes. And I'm not gonna go into detail with packing for our stuff um, because it's basically the same strategy as the boys. I will, however, have a new video, like maybe even our travel day, will include um, some of our backpack and carry-on and travel tips for kids. I think that'll kind of all be wrapped into that video. I don't know if I've been in the vlog today. Yeah, I have, we're gonna stroll a bit. Oh yeah, a stroller bit. I think I just, how long do you think I was in the kitchen? Spent like two hours like cleaning the kitchen. Not doing dishes really, but like cleaning the kitchen. Fridge, top to bottom. Stove, top to bottom. Microwave, top to bottom. Counters, the faces of the cabinets. So I'm gonna take a minute. I'm, I'm picking out a stroller organizer. That looks nice. It's getting real, it's getting soon. My work day tomorrow is jam packed so i feel like tomorrow's gonna be a blur because it's gonna be like brr, work and then it'll be like oh my gosh it's friday and it'll be like the last day of the week before my vacation from work and then figuring out um what's going on with this concert on friday and then saturday is like we had a big training run haircuts and then to the airport hotel that we're staying at do we say we're staying at a hotel mm -hmm. should we just say no yeah it's good to be home. Good to be home. You get a lot of work done when your toddler goes to bed early. <sighs> yeah, for real. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>